All right, all right, all right. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, welcome to my gaming desk setup. Now, you've seen my gaming room at home, and uh, this is all about the desk. I haven't changed anything with the TV, it's still the same. It's uh, the Star Wars Edition TV, but the desk has got some really big improvements here this year with all brand new stuff on the table. Now, initially I was going to make this purely about a desk setup, but I am terrible at that. And also I have a ton of stuff on this desk uh, that makes it more about just gaming gear than anything else. So let's go ahead and kick things off. Let's start off with the latest addition to the setup. This is the OnePlus Keyboard 81 Pro. This is a full mechanical keyboard, 75%, double gasket mount. It's a full aluminum build. It looks absolutely gorgeous. You can see the perky RGB lighting on this. And I love the way this keyboard looks from the just little details with the escape button being the OnePlus logo. You also have the enter button red you can swap out the keys for mac and, and pc you can switch with that as well it's got connections via bluetooth or usb c to usb a and it just feels really comfortable now the feet are adjustable and i like the fact you can adjust it on different levels with the keyboard itself now the typing experience is really comfortable but the gaming experience also this is really solid I like this keyboard, I like the way it functions. Weight is about 1,887 grams, um, but it's a really nice keyboard, priced at 219, um, and you can get it in light gray or dark gray, and the colors, of course, dictate the pricing itself, but this is a really nice addition to the setup. Of course, you need a gaming mouse, and uh, what I use is the Logitech G502X Lightspeed. Uh, I just like it because it is super light, it's comfortable, it's got of course that light speed connectivity and this is just a great mouse to use for either editing or gaming, whichever I want to do and I like the comfort and feel, you've got a plethora of buttons on this mouse and uh, what can I say, it's Logitech makes some really good mice. Now my desk pad is from OmniType. This is a special edition one I got it like two years ago, uh, but the desk itself is nothing that special. Uh, it's a $99 desk you can find it on Amazon. I think it's called Kubi Kubi. I do like it because it's just lasts up pretty well. On the right hand side, there's a hook for a gaming headset. And on the left hand side, you do have this pouch where you can throw stuff in there. But in my case, because I don't have power next to my wall here, I actually run it through and connect it to an Anchor uh, magnetic uh, desktop charging station. Like I think it's called the MagGo 637 that has of course uh, MagSafe charging, but also three power ports to plug in my monitor as well as also my uh, gaming PC. Now the red chair you've seen is the sale uh, gaming chair from Herman Miller. I've had this for about maybe a year and a half or so. It's a really good chair and also annoying one at the same time. Uh, you can't really sit back. You gotta have to sit forward with the chair, but it's still comfortable enough. I do like it and I did not pay the thousand dollars for it. It was way less when I bought it. It was roughly around 600 or so. So um, yeah, yeah, it's a nice chair, uh, but I might be changing this chair pretty soon. Now the heart of this whole gaming setup, my micro ATX build. I had a lot of fun building the system. It was great and I wanna give a big shout out to all the companies who sent parts for this. This is a Asus Prime AP201 micro ATX case. Comes in white or black, tempered glass or regular. This right here is priced at $79. It's cheap, but it's a solid case. Lots of airflow. So you want airflow while you're building your system and this does it for you. I love the fact that the uh, power supply is in the front. I've got a white power supply you can put it in the front. It's kind of weird, but it works in the front. My um, uh, GPU is a 4070 Ti, a Tufts 4070, and it fits pretty well. I love the white aesthetics with the ROG Ryu 3 cooling that has the anime matrix where I can, you know, just customize it with different cool little, you know, uh, 8-bit, you know, graphics, if you will. So it's, it's pretty nice there. Now the motherboard is an ROG Strix 
Z790i. It's a gaming Wi-Fi motherboard with an external antenna, you can see. But the overall look in that case is beautiful, really nice. You know, the lighting uh, from the HyperX uh, DDR5 SSD, 64 gigabytes really showcases the lighting all around is kind of it's a nice build i love it i really like this build as you guys can hear it from me but performance on the build is great games run at max i mean doom eternal i'm doing almost 300 frames per second uh cod is phenomenal runs really well same thing with uh forza horizon 5 every single game i play just runs and i like that i have the performance to do that and also edit if I need to. This is a machine that, ooh, it's a beauty. Okay, let's talk about the monitor. This is the Philips Evnia 34 inch mini LED monitor. This thing is lovely. I really like it. 21 by nine aspect ratio. You also have something that has a display HDR 1400. So 1400 nits, pretty bright. Now this monitor supports HDMI 2.1 as well as DisplayPort 1.4. So a ton of ports on there. And it looks pretty good any time of the day, at night, in the dark room, or during the daytime. Now the monitor has a built-in KVM, which means you can connect two devices at the same time and control of course with just that one keyboard and mouse which is great there is usb power delivery up to 90 watts on the monitor but the cool thing i like about it is that it just looks absolutely vibrant and clear so gaming on here is really good 165 hertz refresh rate which means you're going to game at the highest level you want to and it's also got built-in uh five watt speakers two of them now this rgb lighting as you can see across the monitor at the back which can be customized in the software which has a lot of features for you to go through but honestly this has been a great monitor to game on and it fits on my small desk so i definitely like it and uh yes it is kind of pricey it's about two thousand bucks but if you want something that will fit on your desk and give you just a really great experience this is something to pick up so moving away from the gaming desk for a second to something that's really important, I'm talking about cooling within my gaming room. Now I do have ACs, but I tend to use my ceiling fans and I've got two great ones from a company called Hunter. They have two fans, part of the Simple Connect ceiling fans. They've got a bunch of them in that series, but the two I have in the home are the Neuron, which is a 52 inch uh, blade fan. It's three blades, built-in LED lights. I use that in my master bedroom. But in the gaming room, I have the Aerodyne fan, also 52 inch, inches in terms of blade length. It's a five blade fan, built in LEDs, and I love the fact that it is a smart connected fan. And I've got many ways to control it. I can use the remote that comes with it, which is very simple and easy to use, but usually it's not close by. I buy my gaming desk, I don't take the remote with me everywhere. I can use my smartphone to control the fan. I can change the fan speed. I can change the light dimming on the fan. I can also reverse the flow of the fan direction itself. I can rename it and uh, I can control any of the fans within my home with this. But also I can use my voice assistant and also my smart speakers to control it, which means I don't have to actually touch anything. I can continue gaming and I'll turn on my fan and it is great to actually see it in action. Now having the right environment and also just the right gaming mindset is the way to go, especially in your gaming room. And sometimes you just need to block out all the light, which is why I use the Serena Smart Roller Shades in my gaming room. They are from a company called Lutron and these things are great. I mean, I have them around the house. In the gaming room, I have the fabric shade and uh, I love it because I have three options to control them. I can either use the app, which is simple and pretty straightforward to use. Also, there is a remote, a Pico remote, uh, and also I can use voice assistant. I can tell any of them to control them. Now, the fabric one here is blackout, so it allows me to just block everything out all at once. I also have the honeycomb shades downstairs, and I like these because they also bring, allow you to bring in a lot of light into the, into the room without actually blackening it out and still feeling like it's daytime. Time. So you've got many options from Lutron to actually use that uh, within your home. And I love these shades, especially while gaming. If I want to just kind of just get in the zone, this is almost honestly the way to go. It's simple to install. You don't need to actually get professional help. I've installed it myself and they're great. They're absolutely phenomenal. Okay, you guys have seen a ton of True Wireless Buds right below my monitor. 
And I, I've, I've been trying a few out, but I'm gonna start off with the first one, which is the Cyberblade. Cyberblade are really cool. They've, it's got this dock that lights up and it's connected via a USB cable. So that is actually your kind of like dongle to connect the Truella's buds. They're housed in a separate um, volume wheel, if you will. You can open it up, it lights up, everything lights up all the way. It's got this very cool cyberpunk look to it. I like the look of them. They sound decent and the app is, you know, pretty basic. You can control lighting, you can control some of the EQs there. Nothing too crazy, but they are they're good enough for, for what I want to do here. Now, the next ones are the EPOS 270. These are true wireless buds that connect via a dongle to uh, your PC as well. Uh, and it's got some really good sound in them, but it's got a really short distance. So if you kind of walk out of the room to the bathroom, you will get disconnected there. Now, moving to the, my kind of my top two here uh, are the JBL Quantums. Now, the Quantum comes with a dongle as well that house can be housed in the case and you connect, of course, to your PC. They have some really rich sound, lots of bass in there as well, and some really great functionality in the app to customize EQs and things like that. Uh, very good for your gaming experience. So it's active noise cancellation, which is okay, nothing too crazy. Uh, and, uh, and they sound really good. Now, the last one are the Logitech G Fits. Now, the G Fits, just like the JBL, can connect to two devices, one aka your smartphone and your PC, does come with a dongle, and they probably sound the best. So I kind of toggle between those two when I want to game uh, the most, and I think they look pretty cool. <laughs> You just had was the Sony HD AX7. This is a home theater soundbar. It's really small, connects via Bluetooth, and something that you can place right in front of your PC or just use within your home. Now it's got satellite speakers you can separate from the very top of the soundbar, which is crazy and great. I like the way it sounds and I got to use it with a few games and it works pretty well, sounds pretty great. Uh, not all games work with it right now, I don't know why, but I think it's more of a Windows issue, but just listen to Forza Horizon 5 and honestly, the thing is great. It's a bit pricey at 500 bucks, but it's meant to be for like a smaller setup. Also, maybe connecting your smart devices, like your you know tablets, stuff like that, but you get the idea. <laughs> Now these two go hand in hand, you see it throughout the whole video, the Dell UltraSharp 4K webcam and the Logitech Lytro Glow. This is what I use when I need to have a webcam up and the Dell webcam is fantastic. You've got a couple of preset defaults for color, for warmth, vibrant, smoothness, whichever you want. You can see how sharp the image looks. This is a 4K webcam, so you've got that capability there. You've got camera controls for auto framing and AI, as well as, well, as well as your field of view and also the size itself. So you can actually have this thing focused on you. And again, Image quality is really, really good on this webcam. And then finally, you can change, of course, your resolutions to whatever resolution you want. So you've got that capability built in, and I really like this, plus it's HDR functionality as well. This is really solid webcam, plus the mixture of the Lytro Go really goes a long way to making this pretty awesome. Now, all this would be mute without some really good connection, which is why the Lynx's Vila Pro 6 mesh router is honestly the way to go. Now, this router uses Qualcomm's Immersive Home 316 platform that blends innovative mesh capacities as well as advanced Wi-Fi 6E protocols, which means I get super fast connection wirelessly on this within the home. So, which means I can have the router here, I don't have to connect to a wired network, 
and I am gaming the way I want to. Plus, this router has some really great configuration through the app, so I can go ahead right here on my desk, quickly pull up my smartphone, make some changes, look at what's going on with my network, and just get back and do some gaming. Now, the last thing I wanna showcase on the desk here is my Master Chief uh, Xbox control holder. Now he is holding the Constellation controller from Starfield. That's a great looking controller. I love this just because I can place it anywhere within the room, but I like having it by the desk because I can grab a controller, especially when I play something like a Forza, which I use a controller for. And it's a great thing to have on the desk and it doesn't take up much space. I can put it behind the monitor. It's pretty cool. And uh, this, <laughs> this desk is pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and everything you see in this video, I have the links in the description. It's a lot of fun just showcasing all the tech that I use and also some of the gear that I use for gaming and within my gaming room. If you guys have any questions or any comments, leave your comments down below and questions. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment. Now let me go back to some gaming.